All right, for whatever reason, the city right next to us thought that it would be real neat to take this old cotton mill and rehab it into uh, condos. And it is extremely difficult to work on four or five units sitting in clumps behind all those bushes up there. Very few of them are numbered or marked. Hard to know which unit goes to which condo. They're a real pain to work on. But I've been inside enough to determine that we are getting no 24 volt signal to our outside unit, which our unit's right here but the condensers are on the far end of that clump behind those bushes over there. But there's four right here that don't go to these four. It really doesn't make much sense. But anyway, I'm going to suspect the drain pan is full. So we're gonna get up in there and look. And of course, no ladder, just a hatch. It's just ridiculous to get up here. And they put a water heater tank in the attic. Man, that's crazy. Let me get over here and look what we got. Big old drain pan slam full of water. Get the light on. Probably clogged up, I'd say. So I couldn't find anything outside. Where it goes. Well, easy enough to vacuum that out. I can't believe they got that one inch pipe out of the drain pan of that water heater running over there like that. Like if that tank breaks, like that's gonna. <laughs> There's another P trap right there. Big one, big P trap. That's ridiculous. Can't believe that passes code, but I guess it did or does. All right, so let's get a tube and get all this water out, and that'll get the air back on. Up here and flush this out. Should be okay. So, of course, you got a key fob to get in, and spiral duct down the hallway. You can tell it used to be a cotton mill. A bunch of apartments in here. There's two up in each of those little holes. I don't think I'd want to live in here. have notches out of them where stuff used to be in the mill. All right. So, everybody knows what I'm going to do. And how I'm going to drain that big deep pan was about three inches deep so let's get over there all right got my wrench that holds the tube down in the corner there got the tube running out the out the attic there you know and I went through all the trouble to 
make that joke video about that clear P trap. What is that? That easy trap thing. And uh, took it all apart and showed how that brush was the only thing worth having. And made fun of it and all. And then didn't have sense enough to stick that brush in my tool pouch. And I had lost the one I had, so I'm going to take this zip tie and Oh yeah, you can feel a bunch of stuff in it for sure. Look at that. So I'm just gonna have to do this instead of carrying 50 million things up here to cut this apart with. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of this yellow death in there. Somebody's been dealing with this before because here's a cup they were bailing with. It looks like that's all they had stopping that from, you know, the negative vent. So I'm going to pour this yellow death in. Pretty strong. Try to poke around in this thing some more. See if I can get it clean and clear and going. Then I'm going to flush a bunch of water through it. Make sure we get it flowing. We would if it wasn't a bad gun mile to the truck and carry a ladder in here. And for all that, I'd probably just throw the P-trap and a cutter and some glue and fittings and cut it right there and just blew it out with my breath. And I think we can flush it good enough this way. So let's get over here and see if we see any of our soap suds. death in there. I can smell it in there too. So we're gonna do a little more of that. A lot more clear than it was. Got those chunks out of it. All right. Pretty good. Here's some more evidence that somebody was up here having the same issue. I guess that's what they cut off of that. Not sure what they were doing with that. So all I did was pour some cleaner in there and took this thing and pushed it through about 10 times. Obviously some of it's going back in the air handler pan, but getting it through pretty good. So she ought to be flowing well. I've seen quite a bit of suds back there that we flushed out, so let's go ahead and siphon this downstairs and get their air back on. And, uh, tell you, that fits it better than I would have thought. That actually on there pretty tight. So that'll allow it to have its anti-negative drain heat trap. And nobody's poked that out. Now that should be poked out so that it doesn't have to fill the whole air handler up to, to run in here. So. We'll take something and poke that center out there. All right, so we had enough tube to reach down out of the attic into their bathroom. So I'm gonna siphon it. Here's 
here she comes. Pretty good bit of it up there, so. Step outside for a few minutes. Way up there. I'm here to tell you that it's caked up. Pretty bad. But they make it so hard to get to. You, you know, who's got an eight foot ladder sitting around in their apartment? And you can see when it starts getting down to the end, it's getting a lot of air in it. And I got that wrench holding it into the corner as hard as it will. So it'll leave about maybe a quarter inch, maybe a little less than a quarter inch of water in the bottom of the pan. And it's so hot in those attics that'll probably evaporate, but I'm not worried about it. But this right here is uh, starting to get down to the end of what it's gonna bring out, so. What I usually do is just watch it. So it looks like that's all it's gonna get out. And, and I'll start from the attic in and coil it back up on my way into here and try to get as much of it out of the hose as possible. It was dry when it's in the truck and then sometimes it's so bad I have to take my nitrogen tank and just blow it out so I can store it hanging on the wall without a bunch of water in it to get in the next house. All right, so I had to get an eight foot ladder in here to get up in that hatch, which is where the air handler is. Pretty cool duct they got in here. And I can feel the cooling already. There's another thing that's in their closet here. I'm sure that's not in all the closets. Maybe it is. And it's just like a little main bus, main header that manifold, whatever you want to call it, that feeds the whole place. Seems like there'd be a shut off somewhere, but I guess each of these individually shut off. This place is weird. <laughs> <laughs> 